feel like I'm not really gathering the importance of what I'm reading. I'm procrastinating so much. Like I needed like a mental break. It's two in the morning and just came back from school, but hopefully with my like three to four hours of sleep, I make it until the end. Today was a pretty rough day. start filming and the light is gonna change like it always does. Hi, it's Sunday. I'm on my way to school. I signed up for tutoring today for GI because I feel like I'm reading this stuff and I feel like I'm not really gathering the importance of what I'm reading and there's just a lot of information that feels very repetitive. I don't know. So I'm gonna do tutoring. I'm gonna study for my quizzes tomorrow, have a review session for that, and then I have intramural badminton, and then I'm gonna just keep studying after that, basically stay at school the rest of the day. There's a lot that I feel like I have to do today. Once again, I have to prepare for the two quizzes for tomorrow, and then I also have to write my research abstract, so. It's 12.30, I'm procrastinating so much. Uh, I've just finished studying for my pre-week quiz. I still have to study for my anatomy quiz, but the pre-week quiz feels a little bit lighter, less difficult, I think, than it does a lot of the other times. And it's a good mix of like biochem, microbio, farm, other things that I already forgot. But I think also because it's like a nice, uh, even mix of each discipline. It just feels like I don't have to Memorize as deep of information. I don't know. Basically. I just finished studying for that I don't feel so bad about it and now I'm gonna start studying for the anatomy quiz Patient's still hypotensive. Why? Because he's bleeding from a four centimeter laceration to his lung Ooh. I randomly decided that I was going to pick up the camera again today. It's been a while. I kind of took a break. I needed like a mental break. And this has been a hard block for me. Not that I'm lacking motivation, not that I feel burnt out. I think just the information has been hard. It's been renal, GI, reproductive. I don't know. I, I've been struggling with this information a little bit more than I did with the other things. So I wanted to take a break, focus on school. We are having an exam on Friday. It's, it's going to be on the rest of the GI system that we have left, specifically the liver. Um, it's going to involve some biochem, like ethanol metabolism, urea metabolism, um, some stats, some farm. This is going to be the last exam until our fourth block week. We made it through the block basically again. And so block week is going to be our finals week. So I'm just trying to push through this next week and a half because there's a lot of information and I've been struggling with it, like I said. So I'm just trying to get through and do the best that I can. It's 11 and I'm getting tired, so getting another cup of These last two weeks we have had a lot of GI bugs and a lot of medications so I decided to try and give Sketchy another try and so I've been using a lot of Sketchy um, which has been awesome. 
a great way to memorize things. The thing is, our exams are based on our lectures, so whatever the professors mention in lecture are fair, fair game for the exams. So I still have to go through the lectures and make sure that there are details that I didn't miss just by watching the sketchy videos. So what I want to do is go through all the lectures right now from last week and see if there's anything I missed. I reviewed the lectures and <clears throat> divided them into the ones that I think Anki was sufficient for and the ones that I still have to or want to go over, like a lot of the physiology lectures. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch the ethanol. No. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my review cards for biochem. I have 150. After that, I'm going to watch the ethanol metabolism boards and beyond video. And then I'm going to do those cards. I'm going to quickly watch the ethanol metabolism lecture and compare it to that. So those are my four tasks. Sitting in the slouchy position is pretty much the only way my lumbar spine doesn't hurt. So that's the only reason I'm sitting in this weird position. It's two in the morning, I just came back from school, did a lot of good studying, and I can afford to stay up late tonight because I can sleep in tomorrow because I have OMM in the afternoon. I also have an SJ meeting tomorrow, so limited time, so it's good that I got a lot of studying today. There's still a lot more to do, so I'm gonna get ready for bed and then probably just like watch Sketchy in bed. Hello, I'm about to head out to go to OMM. Hopefully today is just gonna be a review, which I really need, so it's gonna move quick. And then after that, I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day at school as long as I can before I get super tired studying. I have a lot of sketchy videos to get through for micro, some sketchy videos for farm, and then I really need to hammer down on physiology because I've kind of abandoned it, thinking that if I understand the concept, I can kind of reason through it, but there's still a lot there and a lot of points that I could miss. So, so yeah, that's pretty much the plan for the day. I'll see you at school. Good morning. It's the day of the exam. I went to bed at like four yesterday, partly because I think I drank coffee so late so that I could stay up and study, but I didn't realize that it was gonna keep me up until 4 a.m. Today's gonna be a long day. We're gonna have the exam. Then we have on doctoring, which is like a presentation given to us about an important topic that's gonna make us more well-rounded physicians and make us think about something that we might not have thought about. Then I'm gonna have donor, uh, where we're teaching each other different anatomy structures, histology, all that jazz. After that, Surgery Club is hosting an anatomy review, and I'm going to go to that because that's always really helpful. And then after that, I'm meeting up with my friends to run through some practice anatomy exams. All in all, it's just going to be a really long, really long educational day, which is good. I need it because we have block week coming up. But hopefully with my like three to four hours of sleep, I make it until the end. Stay tuned. Hello, happy Friday evening. I just came back from donor, had a really good time reviewing an anatomy. Friday is right before block week. We basically have what's called expert review and that's where each a little, each table gets a topic that they get really good at and that they can then teach our classmates basically. So my table was female, external and internal genitalia and basically we got really good at that and people would walk around and we would just run them through our donor and um, show them things and explain things and quiz them and all that stuff. So that was good. I feel like I learned way more anatomy in these four hours than I did in like the last six weeks. And now I'm going to go back for surgery review where second years uh, basically run us through a bunch of different topics. We are now surgery club, we are transitioning, and so we are going to be taking over teaching first years next year. So this is the first block where we're coming to kind of help out. And I was gonna help teach one of the things, but they managed to find a couple of second years to take over. So I don't have to teach today, I don't think. Um, so I'm just gonna go and absorb as much information as I can and then I'm probably gonna be so tired at the end of the day that I'm just gonna come back and crash. But yeah, let's go learn some more anatomy. The nice thing about having a TV 
is that I can put my lectures and different like YouTube videos that I want to watch like Ninja Nerd on here and watch it on the TV full screen comfortable the problem is I watch those at like 1.5 2 times speed and for whatever reason when I put it on the TV it refuses to play it any faster than normal speed and now it just sounds super slow outer layer of the extra embryonic mesoderm I have a lot of respect for people that like embryo and also a lot of questions as to why. It's 1am, I just came back from studying. I was reviewing for the herp tomorrow and for the anatomy exam tomorrow. Up until two hours ago, I really thought that I was screwed for anatomy and I'm scared to say that I'm feeling better because I don't wanna be disappointed tomorrow in case it does go really bad. But I did feel better after the last practice test. So the schedule for tomorrow is 8 a.m. herp, which is histology, embryology, radiology, pathophysiology. Then somewhere at like one, I have live anatomy. And then at three, I think is the pinning. So it's the donor exam. It's only 1 a.m. I'd say that's a really good thing for me because I usually go to bed at like three or four in the morning before exams. So we're doing well right now. I'm gonna get ready for bed. Hopefully get enough sleep for everything to like consolidate in my head for tomorrow. And yeah, I'll update you guys on how it goes tomorrow. Today was a pretty rough day. It started with a herp exam and then I had live and then I had anatomy. It feels like more than a Monday has gone by already. Generally, I would say the exams were hard, so I'm feeling a little down just by that. But then I'm trying to not be negative and remember that this isn't the end of the world so i'm trying to get over things a little bit faster i think sometimes i'm both surprised but also like admire the way people can get over things really quickly and just move forward to their next task because i feel like i put in so much work and i don't know just so much effort and time and didn't reach my expectations and to me that feels like it's hard to get over that and I don't know. I feel like the people around me are moving on fast and that's something I need to learn to get better at. So I'm trying to tell myself that today was hard, but it's not the end. And no matter what happens, if I have to retake something, I have to retake something, you know. Plus I have more exams coming up, so I can't just sulk the whole time. Studying for my CSA tomorrow, it's not as hard, I think, as last blocks was. I'm feeling pretty hopeful, which is good. And if I can get my CSA out of the way early, um, like tomorrow, which is Tuesday, that means I have the rest of the week to study and focus on the things that I was weaker at this semester. So yeah, long, tough day. Still a bit to go because I've still got some things to study. But looking forward, going to have a good day tomorrow, um, get some more things done. And yeah. I just woke up from a nap after my CSA. I think it went good. I think I definitely should have passed. And my brain got some rest yesterday. Was, my brain was actually turning into mush. I kept forgetting like basic English words and I could tell that it was just really hard to study. But made it through another one. So just two more exams to go. I'm gonna get ready to go to school. I'm gonna go work out so I can get that part of my health back on track. Then I'm gonna stay at school and study for the rest of the exams the rest of the day. Look at all 
the snow. Going home, it's one in the morning. I'm gonna study a little bit more at home because I was drinking coffee, so I still feel awake. School's canceled tomorrow. Didn't really matter for me because I was done with all my assessments, but some people weren't, so theirs got moved to next week. But gonna come back to campus and study all day tomorrow. The snow is really pretty, so it's a nice thing to see after a whole day of studying and walking out outside and seeing all the beautiful snow. Now I just have to get home safely. Yeah.